How's it going? Centerpoint Securities here bringing you another tip video using the Sterling Trader Pro. Today we're going to be taking a little closer look at this main Sterling window down here. This is going to be your control center for the entire platform. So the first thing you'll notice is uh, these icons down here. This is where you can pull up multiple windows. So for example, if I wanted multiple level two order entry windows pulled up, I can select that and you can see another one pop up there ready to go. I can pull up extra um, extra uh, stock watch lists, different things like that. So whatever you'd like to have multiple windows of, you can do just like that. You can also um, do the same thing through the Windows tab. So Windows, you can see level one order entry, level two trading monitors, position summary, uh, different things like that, futures, options, you can do through there. You can also go a little further right on this list and select your futures order entry window options order entry window, options risk, different things like that. Here in the middle, we have alerts that you can set, exchange alerts, scanners. Um, so it's a pretty useful uh, toolbar right there. If you go to the Actions tab, this is where you're going to want to save and load layouts. So if you like the way the platform is currently formatted on your desktop, you can save that layout and load it at another time. If you want to save a layout and have it as your default, what you're going to want to do is save it and then go to View and go down here to settings and under this first general tab right here and this first box in the top left where it says when starting the application you're going to want to make sure load layout is selected and then here you can go to into your computer and browse through the layouts and select the layout that you want loaded as your default if you want to set uh, load settings from previous shutdown this is going to enable you to close sterling and then when you come back to it have the platform loaded on your desktop like it was when you first left it. Um, again, the settings uh, tab is going to be where you uh, set your defaults and any other general settings for the entire platform. So moving down to equities, you can see I can select my global default settings for uh, my equities that I load into the order entry window. So the amount of shares that I want to default to, the position I'd like to take, um, the price of buying, the price of selling, different things like that, pre-market options down here. Um, so this can be a pretty useful tool for setting your global default settings for uh, anything that you want to pop up in your order entry window. The hotkeys, um, this is where you can change and edit your hotkeys. You can see these are all grayed out right now. Just go ahead and select this enable hotkeys button and here's where you can add and edit hotkeys. The white ones, the ones in white up here, are going to be your hotkeys that you edit and add to. The blue ones are going to be the ones defaulted uh, that come with Sterling. So if you can see, if I could select one, I get options to add, edit, delete, different things like that. Um, coming down a little further to destinations, destinations, this is where you can change the routes that are going to be loaded on your drop down menu for the level two order entry window. Uh, you can also set defaults for specific routes that you select. So for example, under NASDAQ, you can see the defaults. I've selected the account default, the time and force default, uh, minimum quantity, order quantity. These are all customizable to your liking. Uh, just go ahead and set those defaults right there. The rest of these are going to be pretty general. Um, you can just go through and kind of uh, customize these to how you'd like. So level two, you can see I can select different colors, uh, what's displayed, um, what my clicking does on that specific window. So uh, different things like that. You can go ahead and just customize these to how you'd like. So that's pretty much it for this, uh, this toolbar down here. Again, it's kind of the control center for the entire platform. So any defaults or any settings that you want to change for the platform in general, uh, you're going to want to do it through this window. So I hope this was a useful video, and stay tuned for more. Thanks.